Welcome to the second video of the gateway to exporting to Japan. And today we will talk about export marketing plan and your export budget. Now, first of all, there are public services to support you with a export marketing plan. Uh, I have provided three samples of marketing plans that you can look at. And uh, if you want to get support with creating that export marketing plan, which at some time sometimes can be a bit tricky and a bit challenging, there is an option. Now, first of all, um, if we go to this export marketing planner, uh, this one is from the Small Business Administration. And you can go in here and uh, see how to ex develop your export marketing plan step by step starting with the market that you want to choose but we will focus on Japan since Japan is the third largest economy and uh, this is our focus here now this is a step-by-step -step guide and uh, I think you will find this very helpful I will not go through all the details but you are free to ask any questions in the comments below if you are not sure how to proceed on this marketing plan. Now, going back to the point about eligibility, this is, are you eligible for public export marketing plan services if you need support with this? Here in Florida, there is a Enterprise Florida and they have many different services to support you in your export endeavors. And they offer a service where you can receive the export marketing plan support for a discounted rate of $500. Usually the cost is $5,000, but if you qualify, they want a $500 commitment from you. Now the qualifications are, it needs to be a manufacturer, Florida manufacturer and professional service provider only. The products must be produced in the state of Florida or services must be provided from a Florida location. Uh, new to export or infrequent exporters are preferred, but it is not limited to um, new to export companies. Then you need a minimum of two years in business, five or more full-time employees and 500,000 to 10 million in annual sales, which is already pretty substantial. Now, this all applies for Florida only, Florida companies only, but there are in usually in all US states and also in other European country, countries, similar uh, trade support institutions that uh, help you with that. So if you need further information, who applies for your state, um, feel free to let me know and I'll be happy to share that with you and help you. Now, here you will select which sample export marketing plan will you use for your Japan market entry. Decide on one if you use the service, if you will do it by yourself, but just decide on one and um, then enter the answer here and say that you're going to use the SBA sample, SBA. like this and then do you have a financial budget allocated for your export activities this fiscal year now if you have total sales of let's say a million dollars as example and your share of sales that are related to export are at 10% then you would allocate 10% of your annual sales budget or sales activity or marketing activity budget to those sales. If you expect to have 10% in sales in Japan, or that's your objective, that really depends on the industry and on the, the market share that uh, you can expect in Japan. 
then you would allocate 10% of your sales budget to those activities. So this is something that you should consider before starting any export, export activities um, because it will facilitate making a decision on how much you're willing to spend and invest um, in export activities and then also it will obviously be easier to monitor your return on investment. So we'll select here. So this has been it for the second video. In the next video we're diving a lot deeper and uh, we'll look at research and the different opportunities on how to find buyers in Japan. If you have any questions feel free to leave me any comments in the comment section and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.